Tomorrow marks three weeks since a gunman opened fire on Edmund Burke School in Northwest DC. Four people were hurt, including a 12 year old. Thankfully, no one died. But we're learning more about the accused killer and the moments before and after the shooting. Casey Nolan continues our coverage and Casey, I suppose the big question everyone wants answered is sort of why did this happen? Do we know? Leslie, today police laid out some of what they know about who the shooter was as they try to figure out why he targeted the school and intentionally or not nearly hit people here on Connecticut Avenue. Some of the more than 200 shots he fired hit businesses here nearly a mile away. When I say that so many more people could have been injured or killed by this gunman and it's not being dramatic, that is real. And this, D.C.'s police chief says, is the evidence of just how much worse it could have been when 23-year-old Raymond Spencer opened fire from his apartment perched above the Edmund Burke School with multiple high-powered rifles and more than 1,000 rounds. 4101 Connecticut Avenue. I believe we have an active shooter here. An off-duty MPD officer working security at the school was the first to call for help. With Spencer taking aim like a sniper at students and parents waiting to pick them up, the chief says the off-duty officer likely saved lives by letting first responders know what they were getting into. I, I don't even want to imagine how many police officers or first responders we might be talking about right now. And a community member who pointed out, I think the, the shots are, are coming from that uh, particular location there. Hours later, when police broke into Spencer's apartment, he had killed himself where he was holed up in the bathroom, they say. Since then, police have learned he was estranged from his family for the past year, was also paying for a second apartment in Virginia, but did not have a job. Really defines a loner in my view. What they have not found is the one thing that every parent the chief has met with has wanted to know. Like chief, you know, is it safe to send my kid uh, back to school? Uh, do we know why? And I wish I could tell him I, I knew exactly why, but I, I, I honestly, I just, I don't know that answer yet. The chief hopes they will get some answers when they get access to Spencer's computers. They're still trying to break into those with help from companies. They have also said today that of the four victims who were shot, only one, a retired police officer who was working at the school, remains in the hospital. Leslie. Glad to hear that they are all on the mend and we are certainly pulling for that retired police officer to recover soon.